What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new AEW Unrivaled action figure review on the San Diego Comic Con exclusive 2023 AEW Unrivaled 1 of 1000 Sting figure. Now that was a mouthful and I'm actually under the weather right now so if I sound a bit weird or whatever man, I'd say over the last like 30 hours or so I have felt like I've been run over by a vehicle of many kinds. Buses and trucks and helicopters Brad. But about halfway through the day, after getting some rest and getting some fluids, I feel up enough to get this review out to you guys before tomorrow. Tomorrow, so I think I am going to be able to do so, but if you guys were unaware, we were live at San Diego Comic Con. We got to get in on some exclusives and get to experience it for the first time there in person. And I want to give a huge shout out to Jazzwares and everybody over there for making this review possible, getting to review this Sting figure right here, man. I was actually able to snag two of these, and I'm so excited for it, man. Super excited to get into this. I wanted a set to open, a set to review, and then a set to keep men on card, obviously, so this is awesome here. But here's the beautiful artwork. You do have the 1 of 1000 logo up there, this nice digital art of Sting there. Jazzwares logo here and then the San Diego Comic Con exclusive logo down there. At the top you do have a little like window into the side. On this side you have the Sting AEW logo. You have the Sting graphic here or the Scorpion unrivaled down here. And then on this side you get the same Sting graphic and then you just get some like lightning style designs here. And then on the back you get this nice holographic stuff going on with Sting. Now this is my beat up version. I shipped my other version to myself like packed it nice and shipped it to myself so I don't have all my exclusives here with me because I couldn't fit them on the plane. So you guys can see this is damaged a little bit but but there's sting it's holographic dynamite quake by the lake 8 10 22 minneapolis minnesota and then spinning it back to the front here man you guys know that we can open this in the velcro and then you get the front viewing window there with the sting figure sting graphic you get the same image of sting there with some purple you get the velcro and then you get the sting and aew logo scorpions in there pretty cool stuff i think that you know a lot of people are kind of on the fence about this i think they wanted it for the packaging because it is such sick packaging for sure but there are some good stuff in here and i can't wait to crack it open man no less man that pretty much wraps up our packaging for the sting aew san diego comic-con exclusive so let's crack him out of his box find out what he's about put him on the rotating base and see what this comic-con exclusive is all about so here's our Comic-Con Sting out of the packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing here, but of course we do have things that I don't like about the figure, and we're going to, of course, break all of those things down here in the review, of course. But, you know, AEW Comic-Con exclusives, the last two that we've seen so far in the history of AEW and the Unrivaled Collection, you know, it's not a lot going on with it. They don't really give you a ton of bells and whistles and, like, a, get a brand new sculpt or a brand new mold and have, like, these over-the-top things going on with it, you know. So we do have some cool stuff going on with it. We're going to break down that, of course. But let's dive into Sting's accessories first, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the Sting figure itself. All right, man, so jumping into the Sting figure accessories here, we'll get into the coffin last but not least. We'll get into the coffin at the end here, but let's get into the cloth goods. We do have our cloth goods Sting shirt here, which looks pretty good. It's just your big Sting graphic here, which looks fine. You know, I really wish that they would have made him shirtless or gave us a new singlet mold, but I guess people would have been pissed off that you wait until the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive one of 1,000 to change it up. So I do understand why they just went with a standard long sleeve shirt mold again. And if you guys are wondering if this graphic is on the figure under Underneath, it isn't. It's just plain black, man. He's just got a plain black shirt. So it's like he's wearing a long sleeve tee, and then he's got this tee over that tee. So I know a lot of people are going to be just thrilled with that. But it is Velcro. You do have the, you know, the black Velcro on the back, which is interesting. I don't know if it's going to stain. It's not going to stain this figure, which is good, but because you guys know that the, the mold is obviously in black, so it won't stain it. But this is a cool accessory to throw in. Up next, we do have his black bat, which we've seen many times before. This has came with every sting. God dang, there's flies in here, and I'm about to throw them off the fucking bridge. We've seen this multiple times. It's got the rubber grip on there. So it's just a matte black bat, nothing too crazy crazier over the top. And then we do get our gloved hands here that actually feature the scorpion graphic on the hands. I don't think we've seen that yet, but you have like the kind of like trigger finger and then you have like the flat hand. So this is like your bat holding hand and then you have your kind of relaxed style hand for the sting here. But then if you flip it over to this side, it's just fisted black gloved hands and there's no graphics on these gloves. So yeah, kind of lame, but you know, it is gloved black fisted hands. Or I man, getting into the accessory that I think everybody is here for, right? They want to see how good this coffin is. I think it has some good stuff going on with it, but it also has some stuff that I don't really like about it. So the first thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't shut completely. That really, really Really bothers me. You know, I don't know. I guess Velcro could have worked if you couldn't magnetize it or something like that. Maybe, maybe, maybe putting Velcro in there or maybe where it snaps shut, it does not do that. So it does flow open. But I do like the chains in here. You know, you do get the real chains in here, which are cool. And then you have like this right here is not plastic. This is like a cardboard print material. And then you do have the handle here and the hard chains. Got some like blood splatter, which is pretty cool. You know, I like the like coloration of it. It's got a nice look to it. And I do like this like velvet material on the inside and the red. 
red. It feels soft and pliable. And, you know, different people can fit in here, you know? Like, you can fit guys in there. And you can shut it. It just won't stay shut. I mean, I guess you could easily get, like, a thin strip of Velcro and, like, tape that to it. And then, like, put it on there so it'll stay shut. But just chilling here, it is not going to stay shut. It's going to open up there. But it is cool. It's a cool accessory for sure. And you can get a lot of play out of that and usage out of it. And it looks cool on display. So you can stand that up, have guys, like, coming out of it and stuff. So I like the accessory. I just, uh, I think it could have been executed better. But it is a cool little, like, uh, I don't know, it's almost like a cardboard coffin, so, sort of, but it is thick. It's not, like, cheap or anything. It's just got, like, thick cardboard ply. It's like a thick piece of cardboard for the door, and then, like, the shell is made out of, like, a cardboard. It's not plastic, but it is cool. I do like the accessory at the end of the day. All right, guys, so getting into the Sting figure itself, you do have the House of Black face paint in there, which looks cool. You know, it's the same Sting head sculpt we've seen multiple times before. It's a good head sculpt. The sculpt is nice. You know, all the colorations are good. The likeness is good and everything. We're seeing the same long sleeve t-shirt Sting mold that we've seen so many damn times before. I know a lot of people are going to be tired of this. It doesn't have any graphics on it. It's just a plain black t-shirt, man. Nothing too crazy there. You get double joint arms. The pins are in there and everything. Got the gloved hands, and then he does have the same Sting legs, but he does have... He's got the Stingers coming down from the Scorpion on either side and then he does have the graphics on the boots here which I do believe we've seen on every single Sting so far but it's pretty plain Jane right and I don't know man I think everybody's just kind of tired of this Sting mold since we've seen it so many times you have the Unrivaled 13 that's coming out soon you have the Unmatched Series 2 the Unmatched Series 2 Chase the Walmart exclusive Luminaries collection you have this figure so I think people are just kind of over the Sting figures at this juncture we really want a singlet Sting he's worn a singlet before I don't know why we they're dragging their feet on that but nonetheless let's get into some Sting figure comparisons so for your Sting figure comparisons, we do have the Unmatched Series 2 and then the Luminaries Collection. And I guess I misplaced my Amazon 2-pack Sting and then I never opened my Ringside Exclusive Ring Sting with a yelling head sculpt. But we've seen this figure so many damn times just repainted, man. And I just think that people are over it. And usually that's what exclusives are most of the time anyway, or just repaints, at least from the AEW space from we've seen so far. But I think I speak for everybody when I say we want to see new Sting molds and new stuff moving forward. And I know that's not what this is about. This is about the coffin pretty much much in the packaging in this figure and you do get the cloth goods and you get a new head sculpt painted differently but yeah that's your sting figure comparisons and then for your other sting figure comparisons we do have the ringside exclusive coffin drop darby allen over here and then we do have the supreme malachi black because this is from their matchup together and it is cool to see these up next to each other with the face paint and stuff like that but i guess the good thing about this sting figure is that it's not must have so people could easily skip on it and be like yeah i'm not really missing much out of that figure so that is a good thing about this Sting San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And then for our last comparison, we do have the Mattel WWE Elite Defining Moment Sting up next to the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive AEW Unrivaled Sting. And I'm just waiting on an Ultimate Edition Sting or Supreme Collection. That's what I'd like to see. I think I am going to get a custom made, like a WWE Ultimate Edition Sting while we play the waiting game. But it is cool to see these up next to each other. And I'll say the likeness here is better than the likeness over there, even though I really love this figure. But that pretty much wraps up our Sting San Diego Comic-Con 2023 exclusive action figure review, man. I mean, at the end of the day if you're gonna if you're gonna be keeping this thing mint on card you know i guess it really doesn't matter about the aesthetic of the figure because it has really sick packaging and i would understand that if you're just gonna put this thing up on the shelf but buying this to open i don't know yeah i mean right now it goes for what 100 140 bucks depends on what you know depends on what you get it for but i don't know man you don't have any graphic on the shirt it's a slightly repainted head sculpt you do get the cloth sting shirt which is cool and i do like the coffin but is there enough meat on the bone for you to grab this figure i don't no. I think the coffin's really sick. I wish it would close better. It doesn't seem to close that well. You know, it doesn't really lock in place. But I do like the chain and how it looks and everything like that. You kind of have like a cardboard feel going on. And then it does have that like, then it does have that like velvet interior to the coffin, which is cool. But at the end of the day, if you were to get this thing for 40 bucks at the con, you know, like I, I think I could approve that. But spending 100, 150 on the aftermarket, I don't know. I don't know. Unless you're just like some freak completionist or you're a sting complete, you know, you want that sting figure, then go for it. But I would wait on it. I'd, I'd sit on this one. I would not lose my mind and go crazy on the aftermarket for this figure. And had I not been and had I not gone to Comic-Con, I wouldn't have been able to snag two of these and been able to open it. So I don't know how many people out there are going to open it, but it was still a fun review. Glad I got to open it up and see what the coffin's actually about, see what the figure's actually about. But at the end of the day, that is up to you, man. What do you guys think? Are you going to be grabbing this one or skipping out completely? You guys can let me know all those things down in the comment section below. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I would love to know your thoughts on all these figures down in the comment section below, but before before we get out of here, huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. I always appreciate those guys. If you guys are interested in doing so, go check out the link in the description below. But that is going to wrap it up for our video, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. We'll never